Hello, and thank you for joining another Front Insider Tip. Today, I'm excited to talk to you about rules. Now, of all of the amazing features that Front has to offer, I think that rules has to be one of my favorites. And it's because it lets me focus less on some of the smaller, maybe more repetitive tasks, and more on the things that matter, like connecting with your teams and connecting with your customers. So today, I'm gonna to show you my three favorite rules that you can build with Front. With that, let's get started. Okay, so this one is all about subject matter expertise or specialty requests and making sure that they're being routed to the person that's most appropriately equipped to handle those. So in our case, let's say Erica handles all questions about integrations. So let's build a rule around that. We'll call it auto assign to Erica. We'll make sure it's on inbound messages in the customer success inbox. And then we'll make sure that we're targeting that word integration. So if the subject contains integration or if the body of that message contains the same word. If those conditions are met, then we'll automatically assign it to Erica. This is a great rule to establish to make sure that any of those specialty requests are being routed to the most appropriate person as quickly as possible. I really hope this helps. All right, let's talk tags. So tags are a great visual indicator when you're scrolling through inboxes to know um, when something has happened or more context on a message. So something that I've seen be super successful with uh, teams that use Front and also teams at Front is tagging based off of domain names or, or accounts. Uh, so let's, let's see what that looks like here. So let's say the company is called Super Cool. So the Super Cool company tag. Anytime an inbound message comes in, let's say it's the client experience inbox, and then we'll target that domain. So we'll say that the from contains the domain at supercoolcompany.com. And then what we can do is auto tag with that company tag. Now we have this great visual indication when we're looking at our messages to know that they've reached out and we can handle accordingly. Give this a try, I know it's gonna be helpful. All right, I love this next one and it's great for keeping your team in the loop. So say you work with a group of people or a team that you, you're constantly wanting to loop into the conversations that you have eyes on. And instead of having to write each of their individual names in the at mention in the comment section, what we can do is at mention a group that notifies all of them at the same time. So we can do that with this rule here. So let's say it's the customer experience team or the CX team. So I'll give that the name. And the win will actually be when a comment is made. So if a comment is made, and the body of that comment includes the word CX team or anything that you'd like to call them by. The warning to let you know which inboxes this is applicable for. And if you'd like, you can actually create this at the company level, in which case it will be applicable to all inboxes across your entire organization. And then we'll notify those teammates on the CX team. So now anytime you use that command in the comments at CX team, they'll get an alert to be notified or they'll get notified that they should join you in that conversation and follow along or give their own input. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really hope my, my three favorite rules kind of shed some light on what's possible with Front. Um, so get building, get testing. Let us know if you have any questions by reaching out to uh, your customer success manager or success at frontup.com. We'll see you next time. So I thought...